Hey everyone, my name is Paul, and today I'll be changing the spark plug in my scooter. This is the Honda Elite 110. It was only sold in the United States in 2010, but the rest of the world knows it as the Lead 110. This scooter has a top speed of 50 miles per hour and gets 105 miles per gallon. It has a reliable, fuel-injected and water-cooled engine, and a low seat height that is comfortable for shorter riders. It also has the biggest seat compartment I've ever seen on a scooter. Mine has 5,000 miles, and it's ready for some maintenance. Let's start by removing the screw behind the right side foot peg. Pop out the small panel, then remove the screw in front. Slide the panel forward, then pull it off. Pull the spark plug wire off the spark plug. I'm using a 16mm socket with a wobble adapter, but it needs some tape so it doesn't move as much. It's almost a straight shot to the spark plug. Loosen it with the ratchet, then grab the spark plug with a magnet. This spark plug has only a little wear on the electrode. It's still in good condition. I could use it longer, but Honda recommends replacing the spark plug every 5,000 miles. Revzilla.com is a great place to get original parts for my scooter. Just enter the vehicle information, then scroll down to the engine parts diagram. I want the CR7EH-9 spark plug. The gap should already be correct on your new spark plug, but it's a good idea to check it. Mine is at 33 thousandths of an inch. That's good. Reinstall the spark plug into the engine and turn it by hand before using the wrench. The new spark plug has a special tightening procedure. Once it's hand tight, give it half a turn to crush the washer. This is only for a new spark plug. Then loosen up the plug and tighten it by hand again. This time, only give it one eighth of a turn. If you're reinstalling an old spark plug, you only need to give it one eighth of a turn after seating. Push the spark plug wire on and make sure it snaps into place. Start the engine to make sure the spark plug and wire is working. Slide the cover on and make sure all the tabs go in the right place. Tighten the screw in front, then install the small cover in the back. Install the last screw and it's done. Replacing the spark plug was a little tricky, but it's easy enough if you have the right tools. Thank you for watching and remember to check out my other Honda Elite Repair videos.